Okay, my mic was not on. Um, Shit, I look ugly as fuck. I just got out of the shower not too long ago. Um, so I'm just kind of letting my hair dry. Um, this proper posture. Or better posture, rather than... Do it like this. Yeah, I'm gonna do whatever it wants to do. There we go. Uh, we're gonna start off with League of Legends, uh, just because I want a quick one of the day, and I want to test the thing. Um, let's open up Twitch on my phone so I can look at chat. Yeah. Oh God, that was a lot of people that followed me. <clears throat> Was there? Uh, was it? Was it? Was it? I don't know. I'm at 128 now. Uh, do this real. Quick. Do it like this. Uh, oops. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. So on OBS, that's that's Gucci. <clears throat> um hashtag concept Um, all right, cool. It's tweeted it, outed it, tweeted outed it. Um, let me see if I can do this real quick. Uh, dashboard, view dashboard. Okay, cool. That's actually a little bit better. That I can do it like that. Um. Oh no, oh, first. Um, and then let's go ahead and start posting. And so after League, I don't know what I'm going to play. Um, maybe I'll just play some Chef or something. Very right, cool. Uh, got me start. There we go. Oh, that's really cute. Um, uh, uh, uh. What's this? Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm just lagging behind. <clears throat> I'm lagging behind because stuff is weird and I can't play music. Damn you! 
<laughs> What's up, dude? Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that or you keep talking like that you're gonna find my lips pressed against your lips and I ain't talking about ones on my mouth you feel me <laughs> um fuck where is this oh there it is that's why I was thinking of somebody else's server. I was like, uh, confusion! This. Um. There we go. Uh, oh, that's so cute. Alright, and I'm doing the big chill before I go to bed in a while. And Eel, that's gay. You're gay. Uh, let me make sure I have my microphone in place and I'm sitting, I'm sitting properly. I hope the volume levels end up being okay. Oh god. Uh, I want you, 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 because we're on. Uh, what's its face? We're on a uh, God versus AI. It's because I really want the win of the day just in and out. And I get to uh, test how it's going to work on stream. Um, sometimes I would play a round just for one of the day, but I literally just want in and out. Like I don't want to play the last league match, even if it's a round. An a round can be really shitty. going on with these people. Let's pick champions and go! It doesn't fucking matter. I'm just gonna win the game for everyone. By pushing. And not stopping the push. Loki, I wanna play an ADC, because I have some ideas about ADCs. Um, so, for example, let me bring back chat up once more. With ADCs, uh, what I've been thinking of doing is rushing Manamune, um, because it's 2,400 and taking Presence of Mind, because Triumph doesn't really do that much. Uh, whereas Presence of Mind gives you, like, a resource to help you clear your lane after the fight, or continue fighting with good resources. Um, and... It gives you more power if you get Monomune. So what I was thinking is that compare. Okay, so I compared to Monomune. Monomune is gonna be much cheaper, um, and you're gonna get less power per level because you're not just you're just not gonna beat. Um, you're just not gonna beat IE as a single item. Um, but I was thinking of doing. For most champions, Monomune into um, a zeal item. Uh, so, for example, let's say Monomune on Twitch and then rushing uh, Hurricane. Um, and then I'm getting an IE. I feel like that would be more damage overall. Hey, Bunka, what's up? Um, just because by itself, Monomune, it, it scales super well into the game. And gives you a shit ton of like on hit damage, so it gives you a shit ton of AD and then a shit ton of on hit damage. Um, it's especially good with a uh, hurricane because hurricane's gonna apply all that on hit damage. Um, 
also in the bot lane, um, with ADCs, for the most part, I've been taking cut down instead of coup de gras, just because I feel like cut, do cut down, depending on how much health that they have compared to your health, if you take call and uh, cut down, you're going to end up doing more damage to them. The only time I wouldn't take a uh, call is if it's like a, if I feel like I'm going to get poked a lot, like um, an Ash Karma combo. Like, I, I, like Doran's is just not that good. Um, compared to coal starts, because coal's gonna it like by level three they're gonna even out a bit, and then coal's still gonna end up providing more overall. You just lose out on one point of damage, but gain much more sustain. Assuming you're doing your job of hitting shit, it's gonna let you hit your item spikes faster too. Oh no, I don't want this. Um, Burke. I keep forgetting that I don't have to buy a ward thingy or get a ward thingy because it just gives you the ward thingy once you hit like around here. Uh, let me make sure it can actually be caught on screen. Yep. I am seems pretty good too. Um, normally when I start mid lane as Malzahar, I don't go this. Um. What I do go is that if I get Biscuits and Cosmic Insight, I like to go Dorans and then a Red Ward. And if I'm on this side, I like to put um, a Red Ward there. Um, if I'm on Red side, I like to put a Red Ward here. Um, unless I'm against, say, a Twitch, in which case I'll put that there. Um, a lot of people do not realize the power of having a Red Ward there. At lower elos, like you just can catch so much and see so much, it's so fucking good. Oh, I forgot to cap this. I wanted to cap it to eighty. Whatever, I'm not gonna cap it. I'm gonna look at what the FPS is uh, throughout. Um, but we're starting Dark Seal with, uh, in bots just cause I'm gonna build it into, uh, what's its face? Uh, Magi's. I'm not even trying to see us very well. I forgot he does big PP damage. That's whatever. Oh, I thought I hit this. I want to see something with the uh, AI, which is why I'm kind of saying at low health. Oh damn it, I missed it. Annoying thing about brand um, when you're Malzahar, so DOT just makes your passive like delayed. It's not gonna come back for a while. Um, but yeah, anyways, about the, um, Manamune, um, I feel like on almost every champion, it's just better, except for those that need Essence Reaver, so Severe, and, um, Severe and, um, Zaya, because Zaya, that's, Zaya's biggest power spike is Essence Reaver, um, Quinn, because she scales, uh, really well with 
crit and um, Caitlyn because she scales really well with crit. Like I think there's just so many advantages. Um, when you're pushing a wave as Malzahar, you want to make sure you got two stacks of this ready to go, and you uh, want to wait for the minion or the cannon wave, so that way they can just stay there like the entire time and just fuck shit up. Uh, I have enough money for this, right? Yeah. The important thing to know with Medjays is that, um, I feel like once you hit six Dark Seal steps, um, just upgrading it to Medjays becomes a really efficient thing. You just gotta be more careful with how you, um, uh, play, because you don't want to lose those decks. Though in general, you should be careful when you have a lead, that kind of lead on anybody, because you're going to have shut down gold and shut down gold, and really throw people back into the game. Um, back to how I start, um, I usually just go Doran's, I get a uh, red trinket. Um, usually nobody takes it or anything. But then I'm going to wait. And so that way I can make sure I got two of those and like they're up as long as possible. Cause these boys do a lot to turrets. It's very easy to siege as uh, Malzahar. And hey, we're up to uh, six decks. Part of me wants to get boots, but uh... The thing about boots is that they're a little overrated when people are looking at damage, um, but the utility that they provide is very strong. Uh, to counter movement speed is to build more movement speed. The movement speed is a very underrated stat that people don't, um, I feel like a lot of people don't take into account. Damn it. Gonna back off because that's too low. Um. Oh, okay, I was about to say, am I getting ganked? I don't really need it. Oh, okay, it's a. Just gonna. That goes. Okay. okay, they're not attacking that. I wasn't paying attention on. Um, what the way it was. It, it literally doesn't matter because it's a uh, bots, but whatever. It's gonna be able to take two shots, so then we can just take this, these guys. Can I build? I can get rid of you and get another. Uh, what I've been doing a lot is Malzahar is I've been pushing and then going back. Um, even if I know the push isn't gonna be like a very a one that gives me a lot of minions or anything, I'll just push. And then while they're under their turret or when they have like a huge wave upon them, I'm just going to leave and then just come back. By the time I come back, I usually, um, I usually end up with a. Items above them. And I don't really miss out on anything. Uh, worst case scenario, I might miss out on one cannon minion, which is important, but it's more important to have that uh, sort of lead ahead of them. In my opinion. An enemy has been slain. 
Because usually I can come back, and a lot of the times when I do come back, they'll be like, oh, you left and you came back. Alright, then I'm just gonna leave my lane. And after they leave their lane on Malzahar, I can just push like that. That's just weird, he's there. Take the free stacks, I guess. Um, more on the ADC thing that I was talking about. Um, so if you look at the base health for ADCs, um, oh, I was not expecting that. Um, if you take Cole and they take Dorange, you can end up doing a lot more damage than them. So, cut down also becomes pointless against certain ADCs. Um, like, so, so for example, if I was Caitlyn and I was against a Twitch, I would want cut down just because the base health is so different. And then if you add Dorans on top of that, that gives me way, way more damage. Like, it gives me an actually insane amount of damage. Um, early on. But if I were the Twitch versus the Caitlyn, even if they took Doran's Blade, I'm not gonna get any value out of a uh, cut down. Um, when I'm fighting that ADC. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do it like this, I guess. And none of them are tanky, so I could just build, like, uh, Abaddon's. None of them are going to be tanky because I'm so far ahead that they can't be tanky. But normally on Malzahar, um, how I like to build is I like, get a lost chapter, and then from there I'll see, well, what are they building? Do I need to, uh, get any kind of, uh, do I need to get... Um, Grievous Wounds. Alright, if I need to get Grievous Wounds, then I'll start building towards a, uh... Ooh. Give him one. That boy ain't me. One sec. What? I said one second. doing is reporting them and muting them right now and reporting them he literally put that towards me wow he's literally griefing i wasn't paying attention because i was looking at chat but wow what a really toxic fucking person i'll actually have to report him I don't understand why people are like, dog, you know what? It's bots. Let's be fucking toxic for no fucking reason. Like, it's, it's literally not hard at all to be toxic. You just don't say shit. If somebody asks you for something, like, hey, can you please leave my lane? Leave. And it's bots. Like, you don't need to be toxic. Um. So, yeah, again, if you're Twitch and you're against... Caitlyn, don't, because your base health is so fucking high compared to her. Um, but cut down in general usually provides a little more value um, overall, I feel. 
I feel. For some reason, I was thinking Rabadon was like 3100. I'm like, wait, no, something else is 3100. I, every single time, I think Rabadon's like 3100. Um, you know, for people that are in my lane, they're not really pushing shit as hard as they should be. Like, this game should have been over a little sooner. But they just kind of left- they just kind of did their shit in their lane and then they left and went here. This is like 15 minutes. They hardly took shit. Um, with how I build as Malzahar, it- wait, what? Oh, it went on her. I was like, wait a second. Can it go on Shyvana? Um, with how I build on Malzahar, it really depends on who the enemy is, so... Um, oh hey, it's a Katarina, or an Akali. I know they're gonna build life- uh, not lifesteal, spell vamp. Spell vamp, because it doesn't exist anymore. Um... Or a Vladimir. Okay, so I'll rush the, um... Oblivion Orb, so I can get, um, so I can start working towards, uh, Morellos, so I can get that Grievous Wounds. Oh. Uh. Um, and if you stack that with Sorcerer Shoes, a lot of the times you just end up doing so much fucking damage than if you did otherwise. Um... Oh, that game was so fucking loud in my ears. I don't wanna... Uh, I'll give it to him because he was nice. I don't even really pull these out. There's some syrup on my mouth, in, like, on my finger, I just realized. It tastes really good. Like, it's under my nail for some reason. Um... What's I gonna do? Oh, I was just gonna give up. I don't really write any of these reports unless, like, do something really, really worth it. Um, do I wanna go run- I don't really wanna go another round. Uh, but if it's like, for example, oh hey, you're Malzahar, right? There's Galio in the mid lane. I'll build Lost Chapter, and then I'll get Tier 1 boots, and then I'll work towards getting a, um, getting, a Haunting Guys. Or I'll work towards getting the Blasting one. I usually prefer the Blasting one because I like the power more. Um, but if I have the money for a, ha a Haunting Guys, and I'm confident that I can keep the Space Aids on, the Galio, I'll go with the Haunting Guys for a little more damage. Um, and then I'll just finish up Torment or Boots. Because Boots are very important. Um, I'd probably go, ideally, uh, Lost Chapter, Tier 1 Boots, Haunting Guys, Sorcerer Boots, and then finish up Torment. So that way I'm doing damage um, while still having like Mana Sustain and CD. Normally I like to go Ludens into um, Relies, just because the slow you provide with your E on top of the slow from Ludens is very powerful, um, and it literally can win teamfights. 